What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I bring you glorious news of law and order and justice being served on a nincompoop who wanted to pull a gun on somebody and try to steal from them when they were trying to sell a PlayStation during a Craigslist sale. Once again, Craigslist is getting worse and worse. It's like if you want to find the biggest criminals, the FBI should just start doing stings on Craigslist ads because they appear to coalesce around the Craigslist ads. I'll drop a link in the description. Man gets 15 years after pulling guns, stealing PlayStation during Craigslist sale. When a Bolingbrook man was unable to successfully negotiate a price for a used video game system, he opted for a different tactic and stole the item at gunpoint, DuPage County prosecutor said on Thursday. Jason Taylor, 20, was sentenced Thursday to 15 years in prison after pleading guilty to armed robbery. Authorities said that on May 11, 2015, Taylor and his brother drove to the home of a lumbered man who had placed an advertisement on Craigslist.com to sell his PlayStation video game system. After unsuccessfully haggling for the PlayStation, Taylor pulled out a gun and threatened the victim, prosecutors said. He then took the video game system and fled. Minutes later, Lombard police pulled over Taylor and his brother and recovered both the system and the gun in the trunk. Quote, I hope that this case will serve as a reminder that if you are conducting business through Craigslist or other similar sites, arrange to meet in a well-lit public place and if possible do not go alone, end quote, said the state's attorney Robert Berlin. Under the terms of the sentence, Taylor will be eligible for day-for-day -day credit, meaning he could be released after serving half of his sentence. His brother was convicted for robbery in order to serve 180 days in the county jail, prosecutors said. This is great news. Uh, 15 years. He didn't kill anybody, but you know, you got a gun, anything could happen. And I think that seven and a half years is probably an adequate sentence for a numbskull who wants to uh, take a gun and go take someone's property. You don't take things from people, you don't pull guns on people to get what you want. Uh, and you know, if someone pulls a gun on me and, and I get back to, you know, my gun, it's over. You will not walk away from that. You pull a gun on somebody, you're supposed to use it. So. Uh, he's lucky that this guy didn't go back into his house, get a firearm, and blow his brains out. Uh, and, and I hope that this kind of stuff stops, but unfortunately, it's only going to persist. With new technologies and new ways to meet people through social media and these social selling sites, they're finding more and more ways to commit crimes and take things from people. I'm just happy when situations like this happen where the victim doesn't get hurt, the, the perpetrator gets caught, and they got to serve hard time. It's kind of a question that why his brother only got to do 180 days and he was, I guess maybe he didn't pull the gun. Maybe he was just there trying to haggle the price. But guilty by association, watch the company you keep and you guys be safe out there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter. You can share your videos on thebeastlygamer.com. If you like your video to be posted on the channel, check out the website and you can also support the channel at beastlygamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. Take off.